Hello everybody, welcome to Raising Vibrations and you're with Simon today and uh, we're going to be doing another subscriber chart reading and um, as always I'm super excited to be doing these because I just love teaching EA and helping anybody that's uh, looking to understand the astrology chart from a place that's uh, a little bit beyond what we usually uh, see as our sort of personality traits. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got in this chart over here. And of course, every single time we do um, a chart, we recognize that this is the paradigm of EA. So we look at Pluto. So Pluto sits in the 10th house of the astrology chart in Libra. And um, I think this is one of uh, the charts that not only I can personally recognize with, because I have Pluto in the 10th house and Libra as well. And I have the sun in the 10th house and Mercury in the 10th house as well. It's, um, it's a chart that I haven't uh, been able to share um, because we've had lots of Pluto and Virgos, Pluto and Scorpios, and uh, I think we've had a Pluto and uh, a couple of Pluto in the 10th houses. But anyway, Pluto in the 10th house, right? We know that this is a soul that's here to learn about uh, life through choices and how those choices have a certain time frame to them, okay? Um, when, we look at, when we look at our choices, Pluto, and we uh, initiate certain actions, we experience a timing of how that cycle begins and how that cycle ends. So you might start a job, for instance, with Pluto in the 10th, right? The, the, the soul's desire is to link their sense of identity with something that's outside, like, oh, this is, this is who I am. This is what my life is about, right? This is my definition, Pluto in the 10th. And you might start that job and you notice that part of your story is recognizing how do you feel about the contract that you sign, right? The timing of the contract. Is it a six month experience? Is it years? How do you feel in the experience of making decisions and recognizing the cycle? Um, another thing that's associated with Pluto in the 10th house is the nature of how you are uh, understanding your responsibilities. Okay, and it's responsibility not in the, the context of our current evolution. In other words, oh, this is my responsibility. It's more like, how do you respond, right, response to an experience where you have chosen to be in a cycle of learning? Okay, there's a big difference here. It's like each choice that we make, we engage in something and we make a promise, we make an agreement. And then that agreement has a certain um, structure to it. And so how do you respond to the supporting of that structure? And through the process of supporting that structure, each day it requires a certain level of consistency. Okay. And that consistency is what you are developing. It's not the consistency through your developing consistency. It's the ability to respond to the consistency that supports something overall, right? Pluto in the 10th house, Capricorn, the archetype of Capricorn. So for you with Pluto in the 10th, of course, um, you're learning how to relate to yourself and to other people, right? Pluto Libra, and you're learning how to recognize that it's very important for you to understand what your sense of um, identity is, right? Because the evolutionary trajectory of Pluto in the 10th is the fourth house and this sits also in the constellation aries right the opposite sign of libra the opposite side of the tenth house is the fourth house and this is libra and this is aries so just like with all pluto tenth house souls with a libra constellation like me and you we have come in this lifetime to experience a progressive change in self-identity okay and you'll notice in your life that you'll go through these cycles of emotional crises that will bring you down to your emotional place, your body, and you'll learn through your experience that whatever attachment you had to the previous identity, to the previous definition, to the previous relationship dynamic, the levels of codependency that could exist because of the karmic patterns between mom and dad, which I'll get into, you know, these dynamics um, will play out for yourself and you're learning to progressively let go of the old paradigm of thinking and to align yourself with a, a more softer internal 
emotional nurturing um, way of being that ultimately supports uh, a process that your soul is on, which is to come out into the world and to re-establish Pluto 10th house, a new way of relating, one that's maybe about inclusion. So the question I ask you is with the symbolism, what was the relationship like to mom and dad? What was your relationship firstly? What was mom and dad's relationship like to each other? And did you in your life experience validation or recognition for your truth? Did you have to um, align yourself with a certain faith or cosmology that you may have not actually wanted to relate to, but this was part of your conditioning? And part of your life is to actually question the nature of what uh, this truth is about and to say, is this really what's in alignment with how I want to define myself? And so that analysis comes from the South Node being in the third house in Pisces, right? The, where has the soul been? What have you been doing in the past? Right? So there's the South node. It sits in the third. So it says, I identify with the different opinions and perspectives and personality traits of everybody. Um, but what is my own? Right? And then it's in the, the constellation Pisces. And as we know, with the planetary, with the EA, we look at the planetary ruler. And that planetary ruler is Neptune in the first house Sag. Right? So we can see that in this in this lifetime and from previous lifetimes, you've been searching for the meaning of what your faith is about, what your truth is about, and you've been trying to define yourself through that, right? Through relatability to other people. So with Saturn, Jupiter, and the North Node all sitting at the top of your chart, the question is: Am I in alignment with my faith, or do I experience a sense of crisis, i.e. do I feel an internal lack in which I sense my truth is not defined the way that it is internally for me, so I'm searching for what is real for me, right? So the, the North Node there in the ninth house says critical thinking, critical analysis of a truth that I'm experiencing that is in alignment with mine or not. Is there a God? Does he exist? How do we prove that? What is science? As an example, these are all very, very big questions that would come up with this chart. And so the trajectory for you over here with all of the planets on your North Node is to really recognize that with this lifetime comes the completion cycle, Saturn, in relationship to Jupiter. Jupiter and Saturn being in balsamic phase. In other words, this is a completion cycle, right? And for those of you that don't know what I mean by that, when you study evolutionary astrology, you learn that each planetary um, pair, so like Saturn and Mars or Saturn and the Sun or the Sun and Pluto or Moon and or Neptune and Uranus, they all have relationships to each other. So the relationship between Saturn, which is structure, and Jupiter, which is your faith, is in a completion cycle with each other, meaning that this is ending. So one's personal faith is ending and has been progressively ending for our lifetimes and is reaching a point in this lifetime in which then there is a critical like uh, questioning and understanding and even an embodiment of what those truths may or may not actually reflect. And so it's progressively filtering through what is real and what's not real and holding only what is uniquely your own. Okay, thank you very much for letting me do this uh, uh, reading for you. Today, my Patreon subscriber, I deeply appreciate your support. And for those of you that are watching this on YouTube, I hope that you uh, got something out of this conversation. And until the next uh, subscriber chart reading, have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.